been? I might have been. What if I'd been a lawman? Riding on my motorbike with goggled eyes, prepared to strike. Dispensing law and order. I could have been, I might have been. What if I'd been a doctor? Take these three pills for all your ills and pay me now for all the bills to keep your health in order. Which one would I choose if my dreams could come true? I'm stuck here with me, but I'd rather be you. Tell me where the grass is greener, pastures are rich. Tell me what, tell me where, tell me which. I could have been, I might have been. What if I'd been a submarine? Silent in the ocean deep, where coral shines and shellfish sleep. Away from children's chatter. I could have been. Might have been. What if I'd been a motor car, swishing through the countryside? Cold wind out there, but warm inside. Cutting through the corners. Which one would I choose if my dreams could come true? I'm stuck here with me, but I'd rather be you. Tell me where the grass is greener, pastures are rich. so much. Sometimes I wish that I had different parents. Imagine choosing your own parents. Wow. Who would you choose for your mum? Well, if it wasn't my real mum, Princess Di. <laughs> and a movie star for my dad. Mm. Too bad you can't pick them up the TV. Mm. Or maybe you can. Right, you've got two choices, pancakes or eggs. Right, once you've said eggs, then they say which one? Poached, fried. And it's quite difficult to decide if you want scrambled. A lot of things in the day, when you choose, you don't realise that you choose. Well, it's, it depends, like, say one of your best foods are eggs, and then there's popcorn, which you don't like that much. You choose the eggs immediately. You don't have to say, do I want the popcorn or the eggs? Well, let's say if you've never tried popcorn before, it's really exciting, so you really feel that you want to see what it's like. But sometimes, like with eggplant with me, I, I don't think I've ever tasted it, but I know I'll hate it. It's like eggplant's got a, like, greenish look that looks like avocado, and I know I don't like avocado, so then I don't like eggplant because you've really convinced yourself that you're going to hate it and you haven't tried it. So you might really like it. Last year, Mum asked, she asked me, would you like spaghetti or schnitzel, and I really like them a lot, and um, it was really hard for me to choose, so I chose spaghetti and the next night I had um, schnitzel. What happens if you, she says, no, you can only have one of them tonight and then, like, tomorrow you'll have spinach gnocchi? She's already planned it. I don't know. I suppose I'll just miss dinner out the next night. If you've only got two choices and you can only choose one and you really like both of them. That's probably the hardest things to choose because 
if I choose this one, then I'm not, never going to have a chance to choose to get that one. So that's why it's hard. Just a week ago, my brother and me, like he was going to go to a birthday party, right? Well, he was crying and my mum was telling him to um, calm down in a nasty tone of voice and he was still crying and then, and then my mum screamed out of them, sort of, a promising threat. If, if, you don't, if you don't stop crying or screaming now, you won't go to the birthday party. He has no choice to make. He's got to do it, otherwise he won't have a fun time at all. Obviously, if it's a birthday party or something, well, if they say that, and if you, even if you still keep on crying, they usually still take you to the birthday party. They're just, like, saying it because they want them to stop. Friends, going up or going down? Sideways! <laughs> I regret sideways is not an available choice. Up or down? Down, you clown! <laughs> clown? Down. <laughs> Where are you taking us now, Lotus? <laughs> No canopies, no surfaces, no clouds. What? <laughs> 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 you! <laughs> if I had my way. I could have been. I could have been a toot toot! Out of my way, train driver. Could have been a flashy fireman. Or a zealous, don't you feed the animals, zoo attendant. It could have been a, don't park here, parking inspector. Rules and regulations. That's the ticket. That's the high diddly don't. I could have been, I might have been. What if I'd been a general? Commanding from my seat of power, I'd watch my prisoners cringe and cower, begging me for mercy. I could have been, I might have been. What if I'd been a teacher? Teaching manners, teaching rules, demanding silence inside school and silence in the playground. Which one would I choose if my dreams could come true? I'm stuck here with me, but I'd rather be you. Tell me where the grass is greener, pastures are rich. Tell me what, tell me where, tell me which. Choose if my dreams could come true.
Yes? I'd like to ask you some questions about choosing your children. We don't have any children. Well, what sort would you choose if you did? I mean, if you could. Oh, playful. Lots of fun around the house. Quiet. No noisy games or friends around disrupting things all the time. A girl. A boy. Good at sports. Good at science. Long. Brunette. Gentle. Strong. Definitely right-handed. I say thanks. No wonder they don't have kids. Why can't children adopt parents? I don't know. Ha! Back sacks evil at Jews crime of families we should be! <laughs> Coin stuffer I would have. Only soft, silky shirts stuffed with I'd be warm and soft, light and lovely. Best stuffer is stuffer who owns nothing. No load. No work. But born to carry, we were, man. Carry on, you do, rapper. My mother, a beautiful string bag she was, owned by a marble player, always getting into trouble. Typical back sack dropout. My daddy grew up as the wallet of a used car sales grammar. Lovely smooth delivery, thousand words to a minute. My sack father, waste disposal unit on wheels. Mover and shaker. Always stuffed with smelly garbage. Ah. Smell you now, Scruff Sack. Proud of Scruffy Stink Son, he must be. Icebox, my sap daddy was. Cool, man, cool. Which is my best side? <laughs> Roll the camera! Action! Children should respect their parents. I respected my mother and father. My children respect me. Children should work very hard for their family and look after them when they get old. What did she say? She said... Would you like some apples? <laughs> Hi, kids. Look, it's the Garcias. Hi, Mom. Hi, Hello. Dad. 
So, what you kids been doing? Interviewing parents. Oh. Now we're really tired. Do we have to walk? Our feet the only way to take us home? Hmm? We can catch the bus. Mm. Bus smell. Taxi? Who's gonna pay? Oh. What else? Some? There isn't one, silly. <laughs> Better. Excuse me, I haven't finished yet. Mm -hmm. Tough. It's my turn. What about me? Get out of my mirror. It's your mirror. It's what my you mirror. Your mirror. It's I'm the mirror. oldest. It's, it's mirror. my mirror. No, it's not. Oh, look, this is, is silly. I think we should take turns. I agree. Hmm. So, uh, who goes first? I do, of you? course. Why you? Because. Yeah, but why because? Uh, uh, because of his face. My face? <laughs> What's wrong with my face? Ah, uh, nothing. <laughs> What's wrong with my face? It's a good face. A lovely face. Mm. Oh, dear. You go first. No, 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 you first. <laughs> Doris? Huh? Oh, uh, uh, it's a lovely face, Boris. Really and truly, I love your face. I do. Please, you go first. Thank you. It's the nicest face I've seen. The me when I was younger is one for which I hunger. Though every day I wish for what's not there. The face I wear, I cannot but this is all I've got to work with now. This face will have to smile and take a bow. Is it all right? Oh, yes, it's good. Really? Really. <laughs> you wear when meeting the people you are greeting is not the face beneath the face you wear because the you that's truly you is never where you want it when you care the you you want to be is never there Why, thank you, Doris. The face I wear is useful Because it's so untruthful I smile and chat, but underneath I sneer The me that's me, you'll never see The face beneath, the face through which I peer Drink. Me too. 
It's your family. Your family, huh? But I thought you wanted parents who didn't have to work so much. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, my dad's funny. He makes me and my mum laugh. <laughs> Good too. She's proud of me, and they both help me a lot. I love you a lot. Yay! Yeah, even though they work a lot, they're not so bad. I guess I'll keep them. <laughs> Which one? Slimy green. <laughs> <laughs> Greetings, greetings, fellow frill seekers, greetings. What are the sounds of silence? Roll, Rocky. Rocky, silence, this'll be good. <laughs> Full of noise because they can't hear themselves speak the two footers have developed a silent communication Amazing. note the special signals and signs I have called this silent singing But I know what it means in lizardish. Watch closely. They're singing thrill seekers, singing their song. What are the words? The words, um, well, they're singing, um, the moose flies over the goose's wing but only when the snow is cold. The moose flies over the goose's wing, but only when the snow is cold. The moose flies over the goose's wing, but only when the snow is cold. The moose flies over the goose's wing, but only when the snow is cold. <laughs> so early. Hello, darling. How's our favourite daughter? I'm your only daughter. So, you can still be our favourite. How are you, boss? <laughs> All right, name your torture kits. Cluedo, Scrabble or Monopoly? And name your poison. Uh, pizza, tacos or macaroni? All of them! 